Hey there. I uh woke up in my office this morning just from an insane amount of work that we have going on right now. Um can't catch a break. To find uh this piece of paper that was dropped off. I don't know if you guys can see that. But basically the deal is that my parents want me to co sign their mortgage for a house that they uh can't afford and that's you know a really big ask first of all I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it and I'd recommend like if anybody ever ends up in like a similar situation to this there's plenty of reasons to don't do it or to not do it the main reason being that uh you'll screw yourself out of being able to get a mortgage um but yeah it just it it puts me in a really tough state like emotionally and kind of well, let me just step back um a little bit i started the company i was starting in the it's in the parenting market and i started it because i lost a kid i was taking care of and um wanted to adopt and just over the past like five years i've watched kind of my whole family get torn away from me over um greed and jealousy and a bunch of you know entitlement um things like that uh, i don't know maybe other entrepreneurs can relate to this but once you start actually making a little bit of money or not even like profit but just like revenue um people see that as like you having all this money that you can just spend or give away or you know, help them out and they feel like they deserve it because they're your family and other things like that. Um, and anyway, over the course of the past few years, it's just become more and more like that in my own case. Um, and yeah, I really don't know how it can get bigger than wanting me to literally buy them a house. But it's just, it's hard for me to like process because like, these are my parents, and it kind of feels like they're the last family I have left that still, uh, you know, want me in their life or whatever. Um, yeah, so I don't really know what I'm trying to say like this. I guess it's just, like, this is not something a lot of people think about when they decide, you know, that they're going to become an entrepreneur and, you know, write entrepreneur in their Instagram bio or whatever. Like, everybody wants the glory, but nobody really understands and wants to make those sacrifices. And a lot of the times, it's not really obvious how big those sacrifices can actually be. Um, you know, especially in my case, you know, I really want to help out my family. But at the same time, like, anybody that really knows me and kind of my story and what I'm doing with everything knows that, like, more than anything in the entire world, I want to have my own family, um, you know, have children, um, with my girlfriend, hopefully soon to be fiance, you know, and make that happen, it's like, I can't move forward with my own life if everybody else wants me to, you know, take care of them, um, and like, I, you know, the hard thing is, is a lot of the time, I don't know if I'm the bad person. Like, I feel like I'm made to be the bad person, and I don't know if that's true. Like, if I really am being greedy, but, like, a lot of entrepreneurs can relate that revenue doesn't always equal profit, and I'm not really actually taking home um, as much money as it looks like I'm spending on all these business expenses. And I don't really think anybody else gets that, or at least, you know, family doesn't get it. I'm sure other entrepreneurs definitely get it which is why um sometimes i feel closer to this community than i do to my own family which is a little silly um yeah i don't really know again what i'm trying to get out of by saying this i guess just maybe somebody can relate to it um if anybody else in this situation where like your parents are wanting you to co-sign a major loan especially a mortgage where you're tied in for 30 years please just really think it through um, understand that that's going to prevent you from getting your own mortgage and you'll be completely liable um, if 
they can't pay for whatever reason. And the whole reason that the you know the bank would need a cosigner is because uh, they don't think that the person would be able to pay on their own. So that's something to keep in mind too. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I'd love to hear other people's stories about how they deal with um, you know, family entitlement, and family jealousy, and family arguments over everything. Not to like. I don't want people to feel like bad for me or anything. I just want people, especially people that are new and haven't kind of reached those levels yet where serious money is coming in, um, like how things can change so unexpectedly. Um, yeah, I don't want to just like keep rambling, so I'm going to go ahead and end this, but would love to talk to other people in a similar situation. Thanks.